morning everybody Hi. how's everybody doing today hope everybody's having a great wonderful day i'm hobbling around still but i'm he, making it he's still hurting oh yeah hurting like a thumb gun today but we decided to come out and check this uh out we are at the farm where you live event we've got a couple of other youtubers one in particular that we're hoping to meet up with today and we'll right. bring you some video of that but we're just going to kind of walk around if we see some things that we think you might be interested in we'll show you that and that way next year if you feel like coming down to this event it's here in upstate south carolina over in spartanburg at this music camp it's a very peaceful oh it's real pretty around here beautiful area right at the end of the packlet well right on the side of the packlet river yeah. and so we're just gonna walk around we're gonna see what we see today all right we'll keep you in touch stay tuned Declan's coloring. So cute. Oh man. Declan's adorable. Hey everybody, we're back and this was we were talking about we wanted to meet some of our favorite homesteaders and so Megan and Kenneth from Living the Height Life Hi. are here. So we're so excited. If y'all haven't checked out their channel, I will leave a link in the description below as well as their Instagram page because she does amazing reels. Oh, thank you. I have so much fun with reels. They just let me be silly and I love that. It's so fun. She's, she's slowly but surely getting me to start. Yes. <laughs> so, We're getting there. We're getting there. Yes. Megan and Kenneth moved up here, bought some raw land. They did it the right way. They got debt free first. <laughs> um, where Jeff and I are still working our full time jobs. It makes it slow going, but it's, it makes it feel better to start off debt free, you know? But we all get there eventually. Yeah. So we're just so happy we got to meet up with them. I'm not going to record a bunch because I want to have some fun and kind of share tips, tricks, and ideas that she might have and talk to y'all later. Yeah, bye friends. Okay, I'm back real quick. This is Nathan from Rockhold Forge and so I was just so interested and he really knew about the ore, I guess you'd call it. Uh, about the coal. Uh, the coal, yeah. And just so informative so I wanted to come back and say hi introduce him and we're going to take a look at what he's making. Um, right now I'm making a uh, fire pit for a customer came and already pretty much bought it before I even had time to finish it. So I'm in the middle of making that. Right now I'm making the handle for it and after I make the handle I'll go and uh, put a nice twist in it and then uh, I'll coat it with beeswax. finish his job because I'm probably like distracting him completely but really really awesome stuff I will leave a link to his Facebook page in the description below if you want to go check out his other items Nathan thank you You're welcome. Thank and y'all have a great day Bye. okay everybody so we finished with the farm where you live event we had to leave early Jeff is having a bit of pain mm. and I really wanted to stay there were still some other um, 
presentations. To watch. Oh yeah, the, the speakers. See. The speakers were all real good. Um, learned a couple things, you know. Yeah, it was great. We had a good time. We got to meet a couple of other channels that we were wanting to meet, and we got to finally meet Megan and Kenneth from Living the Height Life. Again, I will leave a link to their channel down below. We got to watch some blacksmithing stuff and Neat. we do still have to feed and get the rest of our day done. Hopefully this video turned out okay. I'm not used to taking a GoPro on the go. I know, yeah. seems weird. So this is actually the first time we've done a full video using nothing but the GoPro. Hopefully this turns out good. We'll find out during editing. And I want to do, if you stick around just for a second, I'd like to show you the tomatoes and the jalapeno that Jacob uh, from work gave me a while back and are really taking off in our little um, tire raised bed system over there. And they have shot up and I've got one little Cherokee tomato or Cherokee purple tomato going. So. so stick around, we'll do just a quick showing of our raised bed garden update. Until then, y'all have a fantastic, wonderful day. We will see you next time. Can't wait to see y'all. Y'all have a great, wonderful one. Later. Yeah, my carrots would be bushier, uh, but I've been actually ripping off a piece off of almost each one of them and giving it to the rabbits for treats. They love them. And they love them. The crimson, the Clemson okra is coming up pretty nice. The corn's getting to be about the last leg there. Yes, what do y'all want? Can we help you? This, the smaller one here, I thought it was going to die off, but I got to save it. And I've got one little bitty one way back there in the back of those better boy tomatoes that were from seeds that I had... He just has to put his two sons in. Doesn't he? You got hot? You feel better? That's the electric fence. You should know better. Nobody asked you, Steve. So, those are those better boy tomatoes that I had seeds from years back that have done pretty good. Now, this tomato plant over here. Oh, I'm showing you a tomato. Oh. Now, this tomato plant over here, not counting. Don't touch the pants. Muddy mess. This, this one over here, that's the mortgage riser one. And look how big that thing's got. Got some good blooms on it. And then this one over here, that's that Cherokee purple tomato. And we got the little bitty first one coming out. We still got lots of lots of blooms on it. Here's our Jake, the other one that Jacob gave us was this jalapeno. And I can already see lots of little blooms coming off on it too. So and then we've still got a few of the cayenne that came up pretty good and the banana sweet peppers.